Aha. There she is. Oh. Where did they get to? Ah! Speak of the devil. I was just wondering when you might show up. Hehe. <laughs> <laughs> Never say no to free. You realize? Have you placed my own ring? Never say no Don't to free worry, after there's tea. to go around. On the house, order whatever you like. <gasps> there's something I need your help with. <laughs> I had to make it up to you somehow. Looks like we're not the only ones who wanted afternoon tea today, though. We'll have to stand up for the time being. Damn it. This something. Is it a favor? <sighs> Was it that obvious? I'm out of practice. <laughs> this is the price you pay for cleaning. What? Uh, you still remember that? Oh. Okay. Uh, how can I put this? If I remember correctly, you, March, and Don Hong came here on that train. The Astral Express, right? Right. I was wondering... Is the train accepting new passengers? Yes. Boarding exam? Uh, I'll have to ask around first. <laughs> I guessed as much. <laughs> you see, there's not much left for me here except to carry on repairing equipment in the workshop. I like practicing the guitar and performances are fun, but the crowds are pretty small. Damn. Besides, I'm a researcher. How could I not get excited about the chance to explore new worlds up close? Everyone gets tired of living in small places like Balabog after a few years, right? Right. Welcome aboard. Really? You're gonna say yes just like that? But I'll still have to ask the others. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> I'm counting on you. I know this is a lot to ask out of the blue, so... Apologies in advance. Not a problem. Just leave it to me. <laughs> I knew I could count on you. <sighs> what? There goes Serval. Oh. <laughs> I better send Himiko a text and ask about the request. Or I guess I could ask Mr. Yang? Or Pom Pom? Hmm. Who's the best one to ask? Himiko. Let's send a message to Himiko. I have a question. friend wants coffee. I have a friend who wants to join. Attention to crewmate, of course, as long as they're willing to travel, this express's door will always be open, but I'd like to know more about your friend. In your experience, what kind of person are they? She's... What? Meticulous. Prodigy with a meticulous mind. Okay. That's pretty good. Maybe she and I will have a lot in common. I agree with letting your friend on the express. Ask her to take her time packing stuff. Always welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for your time. I didn't think it was going to be that formal. Okay. She's like around the corner, right? Yeah. And have a look. Nope. Oh, it's Japard, huh? You should go and talk to Lady Bronya, Serval. It was her personal invite, after all. I know, I know. Let me think about it. Dang, she just got a new job offer, huh? <laughs> You're just in time. Any news yet? Welcome aboard. Perfect timing. Please, talk some sense into her. <sighs> I knew it. Um... I'm not taking sides. That's just it. There is no deal. Oh, okay. Serval, I understand your reluctance to rejoin the Silvermane Guards. I knew it. But Lady Bronya values your talent. And she sees how much you could contribute to the rejuvenation of Bellabog. So I came to talk to you about it. In any case, you should at least pay her a visit. 
Okay, I get it. I'll make a trip to Klopoth Fort and tell Branya what I really think. Sorry, I need to get this over with. Let me know what they said when I get back. Yeah, she's not going to join us. Serval. What happened? Uh, sorry, my head's still in the argument. It's like this. Like this? As you know, my sister used to be one of the research team leads in the Silvermane Guards Technology Division. Yeah. Stellarons were her main area of research. Yeah. But her expertise went far beyond Stellarons. She was, and still is, well-versed in mechanical engineering and other fields. Truly a genius. Immediately after her succession, Lady Branya set her sights on Serval's talents. The Supreme Guardian wants her to resume her technological research and be a shining light for the revitalization of Bellabog. <sighs> However, you saw her attitude just now. I doubt her meeting with Lady Branya will change anything. It'll probably just leave them both feeling dejected. Maybe she just wants to see the outside world. I think there's more than one element to it. What else could it be? My intuition tells me this is mostly linked to Madame oh. Colia's passing. It sounds like you've got a story to tell. <laughs> never mind. It's just a personal hunch. I've never been good at reading my sister's mind. Oh, okay. I can tell the two of you have a close bond. If you get the chance, see if you can persuade her to open up about it. The hand on heart. I wouldn't want to see her sitting behind a desk in Klopoth Fort and sighing all day either. Velabog is too small a place for a mind as inquisitive as Serval's. Maybe it would be better for her to join you on your journey. I'll admit, I'm a little worried about how she plans on getting all this across to Lady Bronya. Are you busy? Let's go and wait for her in front of Klopoth Fort. Uh, okay. Do I have to go to that side? You know what I mean. I guess. Oh, yeah, I have to. <laughs> Doesn't seem like they've finished talking yet. I hope it's not turning into a shouting match. Let's go in. I understand your circumstances, Serval. I respect your choice. It was my mistake to make an unwarranted request without considering your own wishes. Allow me to offer you my apologies. I hope you don't take this matter to heart. No, no need, Branya. You're a supreme guardian now. Don't let a little thing like this... Besides, I'm the one who should be apologizing. I've put my own personal reasons ahead of Bellabog's reconstruction. I get it, Serval. After all, you and Mother... Uh, sorry, I don't mean to open up old wounds, but there's something I need to ask you. This guitar, I found it after going through Mother's old things. She was never a music lover, so I thought this might be connected to you. Kakolia. You... Huh? I... It's nothing. Uh... You're right, it does belong to me. Does it, though? In fact, it once belonged to me and... And Kakolia, okay. It was our shared treasure. If you don't mind, Branya, could I take it back to the workshop? Of course. I'm sure there's a story behind it. But that's between you and Mother. I won't pry. I hope you have an amazing journey, Serval. Do remember to visit home when you get the chance. Uh, uh, I will. Oh. Thank you, Branya. <laughs> I assume you heard our conversation just now. I didn't expect her to be so open-minded. And she didn't even try to persuade me to stay. She didn't summon me just to return the guitar, did she? I wouldn't rule it out. She's good at reading people's minds. She would have known that you'd never set foot in Klopoth Fort voluntarily. After all these years, I never thought I'd set eyes on this guitar again. <sighs> Guess we're stuck with each other. Uh, did Kakolia like rock and roll too? If she did, I never knew about it. 
the story behind this guitar? <sighs> It'll take a while to tell. When we were in cadet school, Kokolia and I were notoriously disruptive. Oh, what the delinquents. We were always coming up with the next crazy invention. We called it exploring the infinite possibilities of new technologies. This guitar was one of those inventions. Kokolia came up with a name. The Super Electromagnetic <laughs> okay. Flex Player. Or Electric Guitar, for short. Yeah, that sounds about right. So she was tech savvy too? Not really, no. She was a military history major. Very different from what I was doing. Uh. Still, we hung out every day. It's only natural that my love for inventing would rub off on her. <sighs> I told you it'd take a while to tell the story. Let's get back to the workshop first. By the way, uh, wanna help me pack my bags? Oh yeah. Huh? That melody. That's one of yours, right? <laughs> I didn't think many people liked that one. Seems the city might have a few nice memories of me after I'm gone. Well, it's getting late. Well, let's head back. And what should we do now? Ah, there's no place like home. I never feel completely free out there. Chapard, can you lend your dear sister a hand? Help me pack my bags. What is Chapard looking at? Why is his face turned that way? Am I allowed to refuse? This place, just looking around gives me a headache. Okay, okay, I promise this is the last time. I'm about to go traveling with him. Who knows how long it'll be before I can visit home again. You should help me pack while you still have the chance. Fine. I'll give you a hand. You just need to make yourself at home. You've done plenty of work already. Oh yeah. Get some tea. Or coffee. Or something. Since you're so curious, I'll give you the whole story. This guitar was actually given oh, to me as a birthday, birthday present, present by Kukulia a long time ago. I came up with the design, but I was never able to build it. Some of the raw materials were either too expensive or too hard to get a hold of. She helped me turn the concept into reality. Quick as and lightning, now there it always is. keeping her word. That was her way of doing things. Back then, I thought we'd be friends for life. Oh, man. If it was a gift... Why was it in Madame Kokolia's office? She stole it. I don't think anyone realized, but back then we were so close we didn't even differentiate between each other's possessions. We shared pretty much everything. We lived in the same dormitory, went to the same school together every day, ate together, whiled away the time together, and occasionally talked about music together, though it wasn't something she was overly familiar with. That's how things were until the day we fell out. A lot of our shared possessions never left her office again. I was always looking forward to the day she'd return this guitar. I thought that would be the day we could bury the hatchet. Damn. Now that I think about it, perhaps I was too naive. She'd probably forgotten it even existed. And that's the only Kokolia you guys ever got to know, huh? Always ahead of everyone else, never looking back. Even for a second, she put it all out of her mind. Me and every memory to do with me. You didn't do anything wrong. You know, but that's what makes it harder. Let bygones be bygones, sister. How did the conversation get so heavy again? <sighs> no good. Let's talk about something interesting. You know something, Japard? That guitar case in your hand and my guitar? They're both from the same prototype. The super electromagnetic flux player. I never knew your guitar had a connection to me, too. Quite the story. Wait, he has a guitar case on him? What? Huh. Oh, that's a letter I was gonna send to my mom. I haven't even finished writing it. 
There's nothing personal in it. Have a read if you like. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> You're still writing to mom and dad? Only to mom. You know, I still don't get along with dad. You know, Sir Val, if you're really leaving Bellabog for a while, you should pay them a visit first. Mm, I'll think about it. Uh, yeah, he's kind of right about that. What kind of plan oh, is this? Oh, that? It's a botanical specimen. Little Lynxy sent it during one of her research trips. As for the name, I can't quite recall. The snowman's palm, and little Lynxie is the youngest sister of the Landau family, by the oh. way. Oh, huh. Ah, uh, yes, yes, ah. Uh, snowman's palm. <sighs> My memory's the worst. It's the only plant here that looks like it's still alive. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> hey, watch it. Anyway, this specimen means a lot to me, so I'm bringing it with me. Thanks for the reminder. Well, let's see. Ah, yes. A uh, Silvermane Guard standard issue portable heater. It, it's broken, though. It's a family heirloom. It belonged to Rhonda once. You Rhonda. should take care of it. How I big is their to family? Keep it with me. But that's the problem with old things. The less you use them, the easier they break. Besides, no one's paying me to fix it, right? Hey, wait a minute. Didn't I teach you a few machine overhaul skills? Want to practice on this old antique? Oh yeah, this will be again. easy. You don't have to do Little everything chappy. she tells you. <laughs> the principle behind this machine and the one you fixed when you first came to the workshop is the same. You'll understand when you see it. So, I'll leave this one to you. In return, how about I tell you the backstory behind it? More lore. Let me have a look. I knew you were a reliable apprentice. Think about it. You helped me fix my machine the first time you came here, and now you're helping me the last time, too. That's called having a beginning and an end, right? Right. Well done for putting up with her for this long. Uh, okay. Wait. Oh, so that... okay. <laughs> wow, great job. Like I said, a reliable apprentice. As promised, let me tell you the story behind this little heater. Its original owner was an ancestor of the Landau family. Oh, an Rhonda ancestor, Landau. okay. She was one of our 700 years ago. In the defense of Bellabog 700 years ago. How the records the... <laughs> tell that during the decisive battle, she led two Silvermane Guard brigades. She engaged the enemy for four full days and nights in the fight for the city. I still have the newspaper clip. Newspaper clip? 700? I'll show you <laughs> what in the world? She must have been pretty sharp. Of course. After all, she was a Landau. Hmm. Take responsibility for your choices and the people of Bellabog. Every Landau is driven by that ethos. That should be everything. What should we do now? <sighs> Finally. I think I must have left cadet school with about the same amount. No easy job. <sighs> Serval, I want to ask you again. Do you really want to leave Bellabog and go with the Trailblazers? Of course. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I, I can't miss it. What's wrong, Jepard? Oh, I see. Can't let go of your dear old sister, huh? Um, <laughs> forget it. I don't want to complicate things for you. But before you leave, I have one last request to make. The garrison is heading down to the underworld soon to survey the situation around Boulder Town. Why don't you come with me? Huh? You just said you didn't want to complicate things for me, and now you're sending me on a mission. Aha! Uh -huh. You just want to spend as much time as possible with me before I go, right? <laughs> no, it's not that. I've heard there are a lot of old energy hubs in the underworld. 
And you're probably the only person in Bellabog who knows how to inspect them. No way. Since you're leaving one way or the other, why don't you do the people of the city one last favor before you go? <sighs> Even at a time like this, you're still thinking about the people. <sighs> I don't know what to say. All right, I'll help you out. The first and last time the Landau siblings <laughs> worked together. <laughs> Thanks, sis. If you have the time, could you accompany the garrison? You're Bellabog's hero. I'm sure you must be popular in the underworld. The Silvermane guards will face less resistance if you come with us. Fine, fine. Remember to send me a message in Thanks. advance. I'll contact you when the guards have finished their preparations. <sighs> I'm tired of packing. Let's leave it here for today. Thanks for your help. Oh, I drank all the tea. Why am I getting sleepy? Uh-oh. Caffeine doesn't work on her. Wait, that was quick. <laughs> so we're just home. See you later. You know what I mean. on the other side of the station. You're here. Thanks again for agreeing to this. Why is he looking that way? <laughs> uh, sorry to keep you Don't waiting. Be. I only just arrived myself. The highest priority for today is establishing good negotiations with the Chief of Wildfire. I'm about to get that process underway. Serval was a little delayed on the way over, but that doesn't affect our schedule. Let's set off. Alrighty. Hold up, I wasn't that late. Negotiations will be held in the Boulder Town Clinic. Serval and I are newcomers, so you'll have to lead the way. I will show you the way. The underworld isn't exactly how I remember it. Feels like we're not getting many friendly looks, huh? Pretty sure it's this way. Yep, there it is. Chief Oleg. Well, well, well. I don't think our little clinic has ever played host to an occasion like this. We meet again, Mr. Oleg. <laughs> Oleg will do, son. Oh, you. You probably won't know. Our young Silvermane friend here and I had the pleasure of speaking to each other at a certain guardian succession ceremony. We're not complete strangers. But as for this young lady... The name's Serval. I'm, uh, an ex-engineer from the technology division and... Japard's sister? <laughs> Pleasure to meet you, Chief. Likewise, what yes. an introduction. The more the merrier. And it's good to have you here again. It bothered me and Natasha that we never arranged a formal welcome for you. Once we're done talking, you must all join us for a meal. Oh, heck yeah. We'd be honored. But to your point, Oleg, let's finish our discussions first. Quite right. Let's head inside. Too much commotion out here. Huh, so she's your sister. <laughs> the Landau family is full of talented young people, I see. You're worried that Underworlders might still hold a grudge against the Silvermane Guards. So you want to show your solidarity with the Trailblazers to build some trust. Seems like a sound strategy to me. Rebuilding trust between the two worlds has always been a priority for Lady Bronya. People here must have felt abandoned by the guards after the passage yeah, was sealed off. Yeah, they just up and left. If we were to simply <laughs> sealed take off. over the underworld sealed in the name of the thing Guardian, too. Holy. I can only imagine how people would react. Seems like you have a good handle on the situation. 
I see now why you made captain at such a young age. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. So, you're also saying the guards want to work with Wildfire and use our reputation to win back people's support, correct? I wouldn't use those exact words, but that is more or less what we want to achieve. If that's the case, I've got a question for you. Uh oh Since this offer comes from those who left us to our fate for more than a decade, how would you react if Wildfire refused? Hmm? Would you use force? Hell yeah. Uh... She's not trying to be diplomatic about it, is she? Uh... <laughs> Tosh won't back down anyway? easily. The barrier between the surface and the underground was the product of the former Supreme Guardian's misjudgment and the policies that resulted from it. The people of Bellabog should have stood together, but instead, we were made to blame and hate one another. Lady Branya wants Bellabog to heal, so the Silvermane Guards need to regain the people's trust. But we won't achieve that by kicking doors open and policing everyone around. True. As a grassroots organization, Wildfire did an extraordinary job maintaining order for over a decade in the absence of the Guards. I can only imagine how much work you put in to protect the Underworld. I can assure you that the Guards are not here to seize power. If it takes time for the people to trust us, so be it. We're willing to take small measures and serve as an auxiliary force to Wildfire to help maintain peace. I hope you can see that everything we do, we do to rebuild trust and make Bellabog work for all. All for one. Or, uh, one for all. Little champions. Uh, he thought of everything. I swear, he never used to be this emotionally intelligent. <laughs> That's an answer I can accept. <laughs> Oleg, what do you think? <laughs> I think there's no need for the guessing game to continue. It's obvious we share the same goal. With the help of Branya, Serval, and Japard, we're one step closer to rebuilding a united Bellabog. I agree. Tell Branya that Wildfire will work with the Silvermane Guards on security matters. However, things aren't simple down here. Please also tell her to draw up plans in case the situation plans? demands- What plans? Uh, uh, monsters! Monsters from the Fragmentum! They're swarming toward the town! Not good. Stay here, Natasha. The patients need you. The soldiers and I will handle this. Understood. We'll be counting on you. Everyone rushed outside. I should probably see what's happening. I said, hey, what's going on? Please, help my friends! What happened? The, the monsters invaded the mine. Please, you have to save my friends. Otherwise, those things would tear them apart. Uh -oh. Don't worry. The Silvermane guards are trained for these situations. Where do we find them? The great mine. The one with the big ore vein. The giant Understood. vein. I'll send my men to set up a perimeter and start the rescue operation right away. Mr. Oleg, please entrust the Silvermane guards with the rescue. The defense of Boulder Town will need Wildfire's expertise. Watch out for ambushes and be ready to receive wounded soldiers. <laughs> You're a natural born commander. Understood. Leave it to me, son. Your troops will be unfamiliar with the layout of the mine. I'll send some of my men to be your guides. Thank you. In the name of the preservation, I promise we'll do everything we can to save lives. I'll go on ahead and lead the troops to the mine. Catch up to us when you can. Oh. Okay. I couldn't get a word in while they were talking. A duty-bound soldier and a resistance leader. It's hard to be rock and roll in front of people like that. <laughs> what? You know, maybe I need to put my inner struggles in a broader context. <laughs> People walk on different paths. Rock and roll means choosing your own way of living. My own way? <laughs> I don't even remember what kind of life I want. It's just... I see people fighting for their lives and here I am thinking about how to escape. I feel guilty about that. Wait a minute. Was that Japart's plan all along? Use guilt to make me stay? Uh. 
<laughs> Surely he couldn't have foreseen a monster invasion. That's true. Anyway, since he asked for help, it's time to give those monsters a shock. You know the way to the Great Mine, right? Let's catch up with Japard when you're ready. I'm That's ready. All you needed to say. Let's go. Uh, okay. Oh, maybe I should have used Serval. Dang. Okay. <laughs> well. Put all artillery units on standby. Wait for my command to bombard enemy positions and cover our infantry advance. We have a choke point here. Tell all infantry units to switch to double line formation. Close quarters in front, gunners behind. Remember, get the wounded out as soon as possible. And always secure your flanks before advancing. Yes, sir! Ah, you're here. Get ready. We need to help the infantry lines drive deep into the mine. How's the situation? The, back of the mine has been secured, which gives us a forward base to send in supplies. Huh. The Silver Main Wildfire Combined Regiment is conducting rescue missions as they advance. The battle is fierce. I need to get to the front line. I'll leave the command post to my officers. I. Wow. I don't know much about warfare, but I don't see why a commander needs to lead the charge. The situation here is totally different from the restricted zone. Chapard, let me and him clear the way for you. You should stay in your command post. Thanks, Serval, but please trust my judgment on this. Maybe Chapard just likes to fighting. Oleg to save as many people as possible. <laughs> I have to see to it myself. There's no stopping you once you've made up your mind. Fine, we'll do it your way. Let's move out. We need to clear a way for Wildfire and the guards. Take this elevator. Huh. All civilians, These people are actually go running. To the bridge immediately. The okay. Silvermane guards have set up a defensive perimeter. There's a monster heading oh, this way. Uh... What should we do, Japard? Bring it down. We need to cover the retreat. No interest in good stuff. It made it easy for us, but we can't let our guards down. It's safe here. Let's move on. Ooh. Without me. Uh oh. I thought it was blocked. Japard, oh. look. The miners have put up a makeshift defensive line. Uh, are you the Silvermane Guard? Nopers. That's right. Oh. We're evacuating the miners together with wildfire. Are there any other civilians up ahead? The Silvermane Guards and Wildfire are working together now? Oh, civilians. Ah, I saw a girl run out from our defensive position just what now. What in the world? My brother went after her, but they haven't come back. Understood. All right, he's dead. <laughs> I'll bring them back. The guards and wildfire have set up defenses on the bridge. You should head over. Thank you. Please, bring them back to safety. Uh, oh, no. Uh, monsters are coming this way. Leave the battle to us. You need to fall back. Okay. Thank you for saving us. I have no interest in good stuff. Let's keep searching for the missing girl in the miner. Is it me or is it cold here? Yeah, there's some big dude over there. Guessing we have to fight him. Let's see. What if we just run in there and Hit him. Oh, what? How? Reach I have the end one of the story in your own just way. escaped me somehow. Oh, another ice dude. Oh. <laughs> They're in danger. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Will of preservation. This will strengthen our position. Hmm. 
You two. It's too dangerous here. Find the Silvermane guards in Wildfire at the bridge. They'll protect you. Uh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Zeno, take my hand. Let's get out of here. It's so cold here. I'm scared. The monsters have gotten stronger somehow. I don't remember them being yeah, this There's difficult. a dude back there. What the... <laughs> Thank goodness we got here in time. If we'd arrived any later... That's one brave little girl. <laughs> you were like that at her age, too. Huh? I wouldn't go that far. I only had Dad to deal with. He could be fierce, but nothing like the monsters here. Besides, my problem with him wasn't that he was a strict father. I just couldn't believe that he never lifted a finger to oppose Kakolia's order to seal the vowing to protect the Oops, Underworlders uh... in one breath, and then deciding they deserve to be abandoned in the next? Family code of conduct. What a joke. Father was a soldier. He wasn't supposed to question the orders from his superiors. Just like Chapar. Never mind. I know I sound like I'm defending him, and I don't want to make you angry. At least now we've got the chance to right the wrongs. I'm angry just thinking about it. Looking back, I'm glad I left home early. Running away doesn't solve the problem. It's been ages since you two had those fights, but you still can't let it go. You need to walk out of his shadow. Uh, Dang. I'm not trying to change your mind. I just want to know that your choice to leave this planet is a result of having thought things through. Not because you're trying to run away from something. Ah, so that's the that's the thing that he was talking about. My choice. Sorry, I sound like Dad. <sighs> Don't worry about it. I get what you're trying to say. I, I do. It's just I need some time. Let's focus on the business at hand. That miner we met said his brother came this way. We should look around. Okay. Oh, Be that's careful, not though. the brother? Okay. I sense a drop in temperature. Something's not right. It could mean something we haven't encountered before is waiting for us. Stay on your toes. Oh, I have so many toes. Oh, it is this guy. Okay. <sighs> These monsters are tough. I need to find those kids. Hey, did you just scare off a fragmentum monster? Uh, kind of. There was... One on its own. I managed to chase it away. Jesus, just the sky's voice. From that direction, <laughs> right? You see two little kids, a girl and her brother. They've retreated to the safe oh, side. Thank goodness. I chased the monster too far and lost them. They'll be okay now. You should head back to the bridge too. The guards and wildfire have set up a safe zone there. Ah, oh, thank you, all of you. I'm just glad they're okay. I can finally retreat as well. I heard there's a powerful monster down the road, some kind of leader of the pack. I take caution. Thanks for the intel. We'll be careful. I think he was right about the monster. Oh, you two, there it is. No sudden moves. I've seen this type of monster a few times near the restricted zone. Ready? Here we go. This will strengthen our position. This will be. Oh. Wait, don't get too close. Something's not right. Huh? What is it? These monsters are usually eager to fight. You're guaranteed a fierce battle if you see one in the Fragmentum. But this one doesn't seem concerned about us. This could be a trap. A trap? Let's get it. Careful. Special circumstances require a special approach. The air... It's so cold. Stellaron, what the? Shiva. Did it just talk? Uh, Steady. Get ready to counter its attack. Can Jepard not hear that? Jepard, Serval, Londau. Did it just say Jepard and Serval? Just the Stellaron talking? Uh, that noise. Do fragmentum monsters usually sound like this? Can you not hear? Talking. I just hear white noise. Wait, you understand it? Uh, it's repeating your names. Our names? What's happening here? I heard rumors about this kind of monster. Shadows in the fragmentum that assume human form are echoes of the will of past guardians. No if way. If the rumors are true, could it be? 
Kalaya. You... You just won't stop haunting me. I try everything to put the past behind me. And yet you always manage to creep up again. Kalaya, you... You... Witch! You've terminated my research and ruined my life. What else do you want to take away from me? Calm down, Serval. It's just a fragmentum illusion. All that time we spent together... Was any of it real? It was so easy for you to just leave this world behind. Don't you at least owe me an explanation? Serval! Londo, stand down. Watch out. There is no place for you. The promised new world. Oh, it is her shadow. No freaking way. That's crazy. Huh. Sister, I know you want Madame Cacolia to respond, but this thing in front of us is our enemy. It was born out of the evil gathered in the Fragmentum. You won't get answers from it. <sighs> Fight with us, sister. Let's dispel the shadow of the past once and for all. Of course. If you're not yet able to confront the past, then he and I will fight for you. Until your heart is ready. Let's take it down. <sighs> you too. I should have added her to the party. I'm sorry, brother. <laughs> I always make you worry when things get serious, but I see what you're doing. Reverse psychology, huh? Well, seeing as we've come this far, Kakolia, let's settle this bad blood right here, right. Oh, uh, I suddenly cut her off. Dang it! <laughs> Gotta try hard. So watch this awesome move. Just, just a little something. Think nothing of it. That was close. Oh, Stay the alert. other one was frozen? Oh, man. <laughs> we'll heal him. Don't get him out of that. Me. The truth of life in the sanctuary is but a vision. Oh, to the face. Nice scratch. Nice stack, so we we'll just hit her. Uh we do a shield. Yeah. No. Yeah? No. We'll hit her. Oh, I didn't need oh I'm an idiot. I forgot about the break. Ah. Naughty child. Oops. Start breaking these ones. Gotta try hard to watch this awesome move. My turn. Time for a shot. Break that one. The truth of life in nice, we got the slow damage multiplier, 6.1k. Sedacious. Lands at the ready. Just a little something. Okay, I'm sure we'll have enough Thanks HP now. Yeah, not too much damage. The truth of life and death. And this should be the end. Bam! Oops, went to use my skill there. Serval. Serval. 
<laughs> okay. Oh, why do you always have to stand in my way? The temperature is returning to normal. The monsters are retreating. I think it's safe to say that the shadow of Madame Cocolia was the reason for this invasion. The other anomalies we experienced were probably also a direct result. Whatever the case, we've managed to avert a crisis. Are you okay? Just peachy. Barely Sounds a scratch. Like something the hero of Bellabog would say, all right? It would have taken us much longer to fight off the shadow without you. Serval, how are you feeling? I... I feel like something heavy has finally been lifted. All that noise before it perished. Did you catch what it said? <laughs> it said, uh, why do you always have to stand in my See, way? You really made no effort to correct your mistakes, Kakolia. Anyway, it doesn't matter anymore. From here on out, I'm over that woman. Yeah, she did. I can tell you mean it this time. I'm happy for you, Serval. It's not easy to truly put the past behind you. Looks like we accomplished our mission. I need to get back to the guards and Wildfire to wrap things up. You two should head over to Natasha's place and check in on the wounded. Sure. Okay. Come find us later at the clinic. Let's leave Japar to his business and head back to town. And we're back. I see. <laughs> Thanks for bringing me up to speed. The clinic has been busy while you were gone. We've treated many people, soldiers and civilians alike. All in all, I owe everyone a big thank you. It would have been much harder if Wildfire had operated alone. And without me. <laughs> Thanks to Captain Jepard, we managed to keep our losses to a minimum. I'm sure people will begin to appreciate the Silvermane Guards after this battle. It's for all help, too. <laughs> How could I forget about you two? We couldn't have done it without your help. You're too kind. They deserve the real credit. I doubt I'd have come back in one piece without them. Dang, okay, well, uh... <laughs> Sounds like you went through a lot of danger. Are you hurt, Miss Serval? I, I can have a look if you like. I'm all right, don't worry. Everything worked out eventually. Let's wait for the rest of them to get back. Miss Natasha, we've returned. Oh, that was quick. <laughs> that's your part? Mr. Oleg has a pretty good handle on what's needed in the mine. He's arranging for rescue teams and supplies to be sent over. He won't be back for a while. Looks like you guys have the situation under control. Thank you. Uh, I'd love to sit down and chat with all of you, but I still have a backlog of patients to see. Oh, there was a girl and her brother who said you saved their lives. Oh yeah, that was you might us. want to check on them and see how they're doing. Maybe it will get us reward. Right. We should make sure those children are all right. Come on, drink it up and you'll feel better. But there's smoke coming out of it. That just means it's hot. How are you guys feeling? <laughs> it's you. You saved us from the monsters in the mine. You guys are Silverman guards from the overworld, right? Nope. If you hadn't been there, we would have. I'll think of a way to repay you. I'll get a job and. Uh, it doesn't. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. don't hesitate to let us know if you need anything. Thanks. We can manage our daily expenses. Mom and Dad went somewhere far away a long time ago. <laughs> Haven't come back yet. Oh yeah, they're dead. <sighs> they'll come back one day, Zeno. Oh, I mean, uh, yeah, they'll come back one so, day. So, you're looking after your brother on your own? That must be hard. <sighs> Not really. It's my responsibility as a sister. I'm just worried that with all these monster invasions, maybe one day I won't. My brother is too young to survive in the underworld. To think he might have to live on his own. The misjudgment of the former Supreme Guardian isolated the underworld for more than a decade. With that isolation, 
came tragedy. But under Lady Bronya's leadership, the Silvermane Guards will atone for past mistakes and bring relief to the people. From now on, you don't need to worry about the safety of your family. Captain Jabard. Taking care of yourself is hard enough under these circumstances, let alone if you have a brother to look after. I know it can't have been easy. Zeno, right? Yes, Mr. Captain. You're still Mr. Young, Captain. <laughs> so you need to stay under your sister's wing. But when you grow up, remember to use what you've learned to protect her. Be there when she needs you. And listen to her when she feels vulnerable. She'll do the same for you. <sighs> okay, sir. I'll protect my sister when I grow up. Thank you, Captain Shepard. Zeno and I will remember your words. You know, I'm pretty good at turning a happy reunion into a tear fest. Let's call it a day and give them some room. If you're not too tired, Jepard, can I talk to you for a moment? <gasps> what you said back there. Did you really mean it? Uh, which part? Of course I did. Oh. <laughs> it wasn't some last minute speech I cobbled together. It's how I always felt. We can't always face problems alone and build walls to keep people out. We need to learn to rely on others. Especially those we care about the most. I know what you're up to, Jeppy. Huh? What do you mean? You made it sound like you were talking to those kids. But you were talking to me. <laughs> Who's building that wall now? Well, a Landau just called out a Landau. Uh, Jepard. I changed my mind. <gasps> She's staying? You mean? Change of plan. I've decided to stay in Bellapop. Damn. Serval, I... I just want you to know that I would have supported your decision, no matter what you chose. I wasn't trying to force you to stay. I know that, Jepard. Don't worry. I've thought this one through for a change. What you said was the last piece of the puzzle for me. I suddenly realized that my decision to leave was just me trying to run away from my problems. It wasn't a mature decision. I've always found it hard to handle complex relationships. Be it Cocolia or my family. The first thought I have when things don't work out is to run away. Starting from today, that's no longer the case. After all, I'm not doing this on my own, right? Right. Right. <laughs> if it right. for you, <laughs> I wouldn't have had any idea about the hardships people were going through in the underworld. It made me feel like maybe I could help a little and make Bellabog a better place. I have one last thing that I might need your help with. Not again. Uh, okay, let's I hear it. I want to see the Stellaron. I want to see the place where Cocolia sacrificed herself. Say no more. We'll go with you. Oh, but before that, I need to go back to the workshop and get something. The guitar. Why don't you head north first and we'll catch up with you. It's all right. I've got Depard with me. We'll be safe. See you in a bit. Is this the Stellaron imprisonment device? Yeah. They had such advanced technology back in the day. It's like frozen in stasis or something. Oh, this is where oh I Kukoli cut her off died. again. Whoops. <laughs> she gave something back in death. Is there anything you want to do here? I wanted to come here to perform for Kakolia. Oh. To say goodbye. I'm glad you guys are here to witness it. 
Not the nicest spot for a show. And the equipment could be better. Sorry about that. The stage is yours, sister. Look at me, Kakolia. Don't you dare look away, because I... will no longer live in your shadow! Happy? Happy? I just wish I could have seen the look on her face. from me. Thanks for sticking by my side throughout all of this. Oh. As for tonight, let's go to old Gerda's place and have a big feast to celebrate. <laughs> so, you're getting the tab? Oh yeah. Charles become a visitor. Anthropard, huh? 